Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Gavin by MJ. So I came up with this fire look. I freestyled it. It was free-handed. Um, as always, I had another plan. But you know what? This, yeah, no. I had another plan. <laughs> That's just period. This just was not the plan. But I'm so in love with this look. I'm so in love with this bling, y'all. I know y'all can't wait to learn how I did this look, y'all. I'm just super excited. Like, oh my God, like, y'all, like, I don't know. I think this is like one of my favorite looks that I did, y'all. Like, I'm super, like, I love how my skin looks. It just looks so smooth. So fucking snack. But anyway, y'all. Um, there was something that I had to say. I said I was gonna mention it in the intro. And I forgot. But if I think about it, y'all definitely will see it in the outro. So if y'all wanna see how I got this look, which I know you did because you clicked this video, then keep on watching. Period. So we are back with another tutorial and you guys already know I'm about to just hop right in. So y'all already know what I'm taking and of course my products will be linked down in my description bar below. So let's just get right into the video. Okay guys, so you guys know I like doing talk throughs. If you guys have been watching my tutorials this far, I'm a talk through person, I'm a thorough person. Um, I'm gonna do some voiceovers, but I mainly like to connect with my audience and my subscribers to actually like thoroughly explain on what I'm doing. Um, just from experience, sometimes like a voiceover is not really as helpful as someone talking hands-on just as if you know somebody might need help hands-on versus watching a tutorial so i just try to be really thorough in that way but anyways i be talking too much sometimes so um i was about to tell y'all that the first shade that i'm going to go into is this black and this is the james charles morphe palette you guys know that i use this quite a bit in my tutorials and only because it has a wide variety of colors as you guys can see um and i use the hell out of this palette and you can pretty much create any colorful look with this palette you can create any neutral look with this palette you can pretty much do anything this is a very versatile palette so if you are a beginner and you're watching this or even if you are a pro and a makeup artist especially this is very essential to having your makeup kit and just in general because you can do a lot with the palette now finally that i'm done rambling, let me get into blending these shadows so i'm gonna take that black and i'm gonna take that on my elf flat shader brush you guys know that's the one that i always start out with but before i do that i'm gonna go in and make sure make sure that my base is not creased up i'm going to make sure i tap off this excess because i already have my skin done and if you guys want to see how i do my skin just please click the link down in my description bar below that will teach you guys how i do my skin talk through thorough and um basically i just tap off the excess so that i won't get any fallout Okay guys, so now that I'm done blending out that black, well not blending it out, but packing it on. Now I'm gonna go into this crayon case palette. This is the Wash Me Blush palette from the crayon case um, on Instagram, and I will definitely be linking it down below. Um, but when I think of reds and burgundies, I always grab this palette. I love the burgundy that's in here, and it's a shade called Berries. And I love the red that's in this palette, and it's a shade called Cranberry. So every time I want to use like a burgundy and a red, I definitely go for this palette from uh, the crayon case. And um, I'm going to be taking the burgundy now. 
And to pack that on, I took a brush from the crayon case as well. And this, I have used in many of my tutorials before, probably in all of them that I recently uploaded. And this is a seven piece brush set that I will also link down in my description bar below. All right guys, so you wanna take that burgundy shade, your second transition shade, you wanna tap it right on to the black. Tap it right on. That way that the, the black will blend into the burgundy. So you're gonna tap it like right on top. You're not gonna go too far in, you're gonna go like right on the edge, but go in a little further than the edge. And you'll get that nice blend. Like I said, don't forget to tap off your excess. If you're gonna try to do your face first, you do not want any fallout on your face because you cannot really clean it off unless you have translucent powder on there. As you guys can see, I have a little under there, but it really absorbs after so long because I literally baked the fuck out of my face and <laughs> it's it has absorbed. So as y'all can see, it ain't really there no more. I mean, you can kind of still see it under my eyes and my forehead is still a little bright in that spot, but other than that, yeah. Once you have your desired intensity for your second transition shade or any of your transition shades for that matter, you want to now tap back into your shadow. Then you're gonna start buffing out the edge. You're gonna tap back and forth like such on your outer edge and back into your shadow. So this that way is you're blending out the edge of your eyeshadow. So that way when you put your next color on, it's not gonna be harsh and it's not gonna be that hard for you to blend out that second shadow. So I'm just blending it back and forth. Tapping motions, guys. Sometimes you may have to use circular motions. I told y'all in one of my most recent tutorials that I created some bomb looks with these crayon case brushes and y'all thought I was playing. I think that's what y'all thought. But I'm showing you, these motherfucking brushes, baby. Okay guys, so now that I did that, I'm gonna take my BB Cosmetics 283 brush and I'm gonna go back into that black. I'm gonna blend that black back up into that burgundy just in case some of the color payoff was lost, which it really wasn't, but you still wanna do this step anyway, just so you can have a nice cohesive blend. And this is where I am using my circular motions. Okay guys, now I'm gonna take my Morphe M505 brush. I'm gonna go back into the Watch Me Blush palette and I'm gonna take that shade Cranberry that I was telling you about earlier and I'm gonna use that to blend out the shade Berry, that burgundy shade. So that red is buffing out that burgundy. So it's gonna be a smooth airbrush look. So guys, what I'm doing right here is I'm tapping back into that burgundy and I'm blending it up into that red because I did lose a little bit of that burgundy shade. So you just wanna make sure you go back and forth between your shadows. So what I'm doing right now is pre-cutting and I'm taking my Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. This is the all-in-one waterproof. Um, you can actually remove your makeup with this. Um, and as you guys can see, it's the blue one. They have a green cap and a pink one. Um, and this one does have oil in it. So what I like to do is take it on a Q-tip. Some people use makeup wipes, but Q 
Katie Michaelis, she used a Q-tip. And which you wanna make sure the Q-tip is kinda hard because if it's flabby and like too fluffy at the end, it's not gonna cut right. So you want it to be kinda hard. So that one wasn't hard, so. So then I just like to take a blank Q-tip to wipe off any excess product of the makeup remover that might be on there just to prevent any thing from happening when I apply my eyeshadow. All right guys, I'm gonna take that same concealer color that I used to put my eyeshadow base on, which is Soft Tan from CoverGirl, and I am now going to use it to cut my crease. Okay guys, so when you're cutting your crease, you can already see where it's mapped out at. So basically, when you pre-cut, it gives you a guideline to follow. How I cut my crease, um, if you think you have the same eyelid as me, what I do is, I don't know if you guys can see, but that little flappy fold, that's where my eye curves in, where it, it indents in. That's where most people think you're supposed to cut your crease, but it's not. Um, because that is your crease, but you're not supposed to cut it right there. You're supposed to go above that flappy fold. Always go above your flappy fold. You can find your flappy fold by looking forward. I always look forward, forward when I cut my crease because that's how I can find my flappy fold. And you want to cut right over the flappy fold. Not on the flappy fold, but over the flappy fold. And that is how you'll get a cut crease and you'll still be able to see it when you look forward. Sorry guys, my nail was in the way a little bit, but basically what I'm doing is stamping on my cut crease. I don't like to drag. You want to stamp your cut crease on because that's how you're going to get that precise, sharp cut crease. Okay guys, so now that I have the blueprint of my cut crease, I like to go in and define it and make it super, super sharp. And how I do that is, how you can see how your cut crease actually is, is you wanna raise your eyebrow. That's gonna stretch your cut crease out and then you can see how the outline of it is. So that way you can detail it better. So you raise your eyebrow and when you cut your crease, make sure you stamp, guys. Because when you raise your eyebrow, you're going to be able to tell if your cut crease has a dent in it, if it's crooked, if it's a perfect circle, if it goes around right. You'll be able to tell it once you raise your brow. So. Now I'm just tapping on to the concealer. It helps the base dry quicker. So it can be less wet because I am using matte shadows. I love doing all matte looks. This is gonna just help it dry down a little faster, make it more tackier. So it won't be so wet and your shadows won't get patchy. All right guys, now I'm taking that BB Cosmetics brush and I'm gonna go back into the James Charles Morphe palette. I'm gonna dip into that black so I can blend it into the outer V. Okay guys, for the yellow shade that's on my lid, I went into the Jawbreaker palette by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And, oh, this matched my nails. Um, and I went into this palette. The shade is at the top. It's a matte yellow shade and it's called Wow. Before you put your lid color on, you always want to tap off one more time just to make sure that base is good and ready to go.
All right, guys, so now that I have that yellow shade on my lid, I'm gonna go back into the Watch Me Blush palette. I'm gonna be taking that red and that burgundy, and I'm gonna be blending it into the yellow. So first, I'm gonna go in with the burgundy shade on the crayon face brush. All right guys, now I'm taking that same brush and I'm gonna tap into the red shade and I'm gonna blend it into the burgundy. I'm about to go back into the <laughs> James Jones file guys. And I'm taking this bright orange shade that's right here at the top that you guys see. And I'm going to blend that right in front of the red into the yellow. That's just going to make everything look really airbrushed and bring everything together. Because you guys know red and orange. No, I'm sorry. Red and yellow creates orange. So I'm going to tap into that orange and it's just going to just make everything just blend so nice. I'm taking that orange shade on my Morphe M505 brush. Okay guys, so for lashes, I'm going to be using this lash from I Slay Lash Co. And these are in the style Barbie Girl. If you guys are interested in these, I will definitely leave her Instagram down below. And you guys can go check her out. Okay guys, I'm gonna take my Studio Fix Powder Foundation by MAC and NW45, and I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna press that all over my face just to take away the baking powder that you guys see there. It probably don't look like I have any there, but I do. It's baking, and I'm just gonna take this on my Morphe M504. I'm sorry, my Morphe E38 brush, and yes, it's broke. <laughs> <laughs> but I haven't been back to the store to get another one because I think I'm just going to hot glue the handle back on, but don't make me y'all. Okay guys, for blush, I'm going to go into the Watch Me Blush palette and I'm going to take that shade right there, it's called Berries and I'm going to use this for a blush. I have did that before and it was really, really pretty. Shout out to um, Beats by Tiffany, um, I believe that's her Facebook name. I'll get her correct information and link it down below because I got that idea from her using that shadow as a blush, so shout out to you. Plus the shadow is pigmented so it's going to show. 
That's a super long blush. Plus it's called the Watch Me Blush Palette anyway, so. So now I'm going in with some Max Prep and Prime Spray to reduce the powder. You guys know I would normally go in with my Mario Badescu, but tragedy struck when I was flying out to Miami and... Give me a second. And I was going through the self-checkout, I mean the security baggage check, and they made me throw it away because it was 16 ounces. And it was like a brand new bottle. I was so fucking pissed. Like, y'all don't even know. Like, I'm like, y'all mad bugging, like, for real. So I had to go to the Macus at the airport and buy me some prep and prime spray because that's the only other thing that I would like to use to reduce powder until I get back to Ulta to give me some more Mario Podescu. And now I know I need to buy the travel size and the bigger size. Uh, anyways. Okay guys, for highlight, I'm gonna be taking my Jeffree Star Cosmetics. These are the Supreme Frost ones from the Jawbreaker Collection. And these are in the shades Diamond Wet and Chrome Kiss. And I like to use this brush right here from the crayon case because it's really big and fluffy, it's not too dense. When it's not so dense, it airbrushes the highlighter on and it don't make it so patchy because I hate when highlight looks like it's just sitting on top of the skin, like it's just like that streak right there. It's just so unappealing to me. So I like to take it on a more fluffy brush to melt it into the skin. And I don't use as much as well, so. That's literally all I'm gonna use. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with that black on my lower lash line. Next, I'm going to be dipping into the burgundy shades to blend out the black. Alright guys, and last but not least, I'm going to take that, well, I'm going to do the red and then I'm going to do the orange, so that would be the last shade. But now I'm going to be dipping into the red. And I'm going to use the same brush that I used to blend out the burgundy. I drug it out a little bit too much, so that's why I'm definitely now gonna use the orange to blend that out. So y'all, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip into my NC, my NW45 MAC powder, and I'm gonna just like kinda blow it out around the edges because It'll take some of that redness away because it's a foundation powder. So I'm gonna dip in my Morphe M505 brush and I'm just gonna brush that right around here and it's just gonna fade away some of that red so it won't be so far out on my face because that's not the kind of look that I'm looking for. Okay, so I'm gonna be taking these double up Ardell um, individual lashes and I'm gonna be placing one on my bottom lash, my lower lash line. They're all the same size. So I'm just gonna take my tweezers. Okay. 
Okay guys, that's literally it. So now I'm gonna do my other under eye off camera and then I'll be right back with the lip combo. Okay guys, so, so for lips, I'm gonna be going in with the NYX lip liner. This is just a dark brown lip liner from NYX Cosmetics. Okay guys, my choice of lipstick today is a OD but goodie. This is from NYX Cosmetics and it is in the shade Cirque. So you guys can leave it like this, or you can choose to add gloss. Y'all already know, I'm a gloss type of bitch. I like to be glossy. So I'm gonna add some gloss, and my choice of gloss is MAC See-Through. Okay guys, this is definitely the completed look. I am about to go do my hair and put on some clothes and we will be right back with the outro. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I definitely am coming back to back to back. And this is my birthday month. I got like what? We got nine days until my birthday, y'all. So I'm gonna keep trying to push these tutorials out while we lock down on this whole quarantine coronavirus thing whatever it is that's going on but anyways y'all don't forget to like comment and subscribe of course all of my products will be listed down in my description right below and all of my social media handles if you guys want to follow me and keep up with me on those and until my next video i will see you guys later bye guys